that's not a huge profit, but it's still profit and I love it. Hey y'all, it's Kara Delin, and sorry I've been a little absent over the past couple of weeks. Things have been crazy, um, but I'm back today with a fantastic auction haul. Um, I've been focusing lately on my palettes uh, more than local auctions, but I had a little downtime and I looked at a local auction in my area, Southern Indiana, and it's Lincoln Crumb Auctions, and I've been a customer of theirs for years. Um, it's a great group of people up there. I really, really enjoy working with them. But they were having these collectible Barbies up for auction, and these are probably anywhere from late 80s to maybe mid 90s, something like that. Um, but if you didn't hear, I am ungated in Barbie and Mattel on Amazon. So I just went bananas on this one. I ended up getting 18 total Barbies and I spent $271.04. And that includes tax and, which really I should give them my reseller certificate, but that includes tax and um, the buyer's premium. So you know sometimes when you when you buy from auctions, the auction company charges a little percentage for a buyer's premium. So out of pocket total, $271.04 for 18 Barbies, and that comes out to about $15.06 a Barbie on average. I mean, I spent some, you know higher for some. I paid up for a few. And then some I got for like five, six dollars. But we're just going to say on average about fifteen dollars a Barbie. And I'm going to go through each one of these and I'm going to tell you exactly how much they sell for on Amazon. All right. In no particular order. Um, this first one here is an astronaut Barbie. Very cool. And this is from the We Girls Can Do Anything line. And uh, this one is from 1994. Very cool. It is in great condition. It does, I don't know if you can see it right here, does have a little tear in the box and it still has its original Toys R Us tag for $19.99. So when I post things like that and it has the Toys R Us tag, I indicate that in my listing. I say it still has its original Toys R Us tag because people are buying these um, for nostalgia, they're collectors, and to me, the Toys R Us tag, since they're not in business anymore, that kind of makes that more valuable to uh, someone who's a little more sentimental about that type of thing. So the astronaut Barbie goes for $55.99. And I did um, set all of these up for Fulfilled by Merchant. Um, so if I decide to send them into Amazon, as you know, you can charge about $5 on average more when it goes to Amazon. So these prices are Fulfilled by Merchant. And then I got a set of the Native American Barbies. This one is second edition from 93. Second edition Native American goes for $44.98. The first edition from 1992, this one goes for $41.78. And I also got the third edition. Now, I don't know if there were only three editions. I don't honestly know a lot about Barbies. Um, I played with them when I was a kid, but... I just look these up as I see them available for auction. I see what the going going rate is, um, what I can charge. This is from 1994, and the third edition goes for $23.88. So, obviously, the third edition isn't as valuable, but that's a really nice set. And these are available on Amazon. So, if you see anything that you just have to have going out there, and you'll see me out there. Uh, next up is a Russell Stover's Candy Barbie, and 
She is from 1995, kind of like an Easter theme. This box does have a little bit of damage, as you can see. So I did not um, list this as new. I listed it as collectible. I wanna say very good condition, and then I just disclosed that there was some box damage, but it had never been removed from the box. So if somebody is getting this because they want it to be a collectible on a shelf, they may want the box to be in pristine condition, which is fine, um, but I just disclose it. Somebody may just want it because they had it when they were a kid or something. Uh, but the Russell Stover goes for $32.79, and that's in the collectible condition. If it was new, it would go for even more. So keep that in mind too as we go through here. This one is really cool. This is the Caboodles Barbie. And if you're around my age, if you grew up in the 80s, 90s, you probably had your own little Caboodles kit. We thought that was really neat. I think they still sell Caboodles. Um, but I don't think they're nearly as popular as they were. So yeah, this is from 1992. I probably would have been in middle school, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Caboodles Barbie. And she sells for $73.98. So people my age love their caboodles. All right, then we've got Shaving Fun Ken. And, you know, he's got a little five o'clock shadow there. And it looks like when you wet his face, I don't know, uh, his beard goes away. Interesting. So this one is from 1994. Good old shaving fun. He even comes with a little bitty razor, if you can see that right there. All right, Ken goes for $68.99, y'all. $68, and he's in great condition. So he'll sell as new. All right, this one is... Um, this one is in a little rougher condition, and all of that's disclosed in the auctions when you're bidding on them, but if you can see the box, it's got a lot of reflection because it's like a gold color. You know, it's kind of beat up here on the bottom, and it's one of the, the fancy boxes that fold out. It's the Spiegel Shopping Chic. And I think she comes with a little dog. I think that's what that is down there. But it's the Spiegel Barbie and limited edition from 1995. And I'm selling that one as a collectible condition because the box isn't perfect. But the Spiegel Barbie in that condition goes for $35. Okay. School time fun. And she is from, uh, looks like 19... Maybe 1994. So she's ready for school. She's got a little backpack and her little romper. It's very, very odd. Uh, but this school time fun Barbie, she goes for $17.60. That's not a huge profit, but profit and I love it. All right, this is a cool one. This is a Trolls special edition Barbie and she has a few little troll dolls that come along with her and you can change the hair on your troll doll so you can mix and match. It even has an ad on the back, if you can see that, for Barbie magazine, which is kind of cool. Uh, this one is from 92. And the Trolls Barbie goes for $53.78. And believe it or not, we still haven't found the most expensive Barbie just yet. All right, so these next few, I'll wait on those. Uh, this one is a really expensive one. So this is the Chicago Cubs Barbie. And I don't know if this was just a special edition they did for baseball or what. I don't know why this one is so valuable. It it does have some box damage. It's been smushed on the bottom, but this has never been removed from the box. I mean, you can tell it's still got the little zip ties or little twist ties in there. 
and uh, it's in great condition. Just the box isn't great. So in this condition, it sells for $79.99. If she was in better condition, if that box was in better condition, you could probably easily get over $100 for that one. So definitely be on the lookout for Chicago Cubs. This is Hot Skating Barbie. And she has a KB Toys tag on there, which is kind of neat. This is from 1994, and Hot Skating Barbie goes for $49.99. This is interesting. This is, um, was it Scarlett O'Hara? O'Hare, Scarlett O'Hara, whatever. Um, and she's from Gone with the Wind, that movie. You remember that movie? Scarlett O'Hara. And the box isn't perfect, and I don't know if it's going to pick it up. Can you kind of see, like, almost like... Um, like it's had some moisture in the air and it's got like little droplets and I tried to clean it up but it's not really coming clean. So I didn't sell this as new condition. I sold it as collectible. I want to say very good. Um, but then I just indicated it. the box had some wear. But that one sells in that condition for $54.99. Okay. And these last few are a part of a uh, set that they did a few years ago. Hi. We're going to have a special guest. What are you doing? Do you want to say hi to my people? So the last five Barbies are a part of a collection that they did, special edition Barbie. Uh, dolls of the world and there were more um is in the world um available in this auction but these are the only ones that i won because i didn't want to go up too high um, there wasn't any additional value by having the complete set or at least what they had up for auction so we'll go through the ones that we have here there are five of them so this one is kenyan barbie and she is from 1993, and she's in great condition. I mean, very pristine box. And the Kenyan Barbie goes for $54.95. Then we have a Dutch, Dutch Barbie. She's got the little braids. And she's from 93. And Dutch Barbie goes for $47.97. Okay, and then this is the Irish Barbie, and she's got red hair, looks like green eyes, maybe. And Irish Barbie is from 1994, and she goes for $38.99. Okay, and then we have Polynesian Barbie. She kind of has like a grass skirt and a little uh, beaded belt. And she's got the lays around her neck and her head. This one, this one is from 1994. They change them all the time. And if you can see that price tag, it's not marked, but that looks like a really old fashioned Target sticker. So I'm gonna leave that on there as well. But the Polynesian Barbie goes for $42.80. And last, but certainly not least, is this Mexican Barbie. She's in great condition. And she was originally $9.75. And I can't tell where that, that label is from. And she is from 1988 so this is one of our older Barbies in the set and this is the most valuable one I think I have maybe the Cubs one uh, but this one goes for $79.79 so that's it you guys that's my 18 Barbie dolls and so I calculated it up here 
total gross sales when all of those sell, and they definitely will. Their, their ratings are really good. I was surprised for it to be vintage toys. They were all under a million rank, um, which, which is good in toys on Amazon. And my gross sales amount when all of these sell will be $898.44. So from that, I'm gonna remove $144 for shipping. And I think that's even probably too high of an estimate. I think it'll be less than that, but we're going on the, on the heavy side. So $144 for shipping. I estimated, uh, you know, around 5% for Amazon to take their fees for Fulfilled by Merchant, and I think that's high as well, but we're gonna say about $40 for that. And then the original $271.04 that I paid for all of this. So um, the amount of money that it, it cost me to buy these from the auction. So if I remove all of that from my gross sales, then I'm left with $443.40. That's after I've paid myself back uh, the $271. So I'm in the profit $443.40 when all of these sell. And honestly, I may end up repricing a few of them because we're getting closer to Christmas. You wanna make sure that you are getting the most for your items. And things like this, are not readily available. You're not gonna be able to just go out to any store and buy this. So people are going to Amazon and trying to find these special vintage things. You know, if you've watched my last video about the Star Wars and the Star Trek collectibles, this is very similar. These are things, like I said, from 88 to I think 94 was the latest one. And, uh, and these will sell well, and they're easy to ship. I mean, they're very, very compact, and I, I really don't know that they're even above a pound, most of them, depending on what uh, little extras they have in the box, little accessories. So that's it. That's my Barbie haul today. I've missed you all so much. I have a big palette coming tomorrow from Macy's. It's Home Goods. I think I have like I know it's over 200 items, um, mostly just home decor, maybe small appliance, that kind of stuff. So I'm really excited about that. And pretty soon we'll be having another dollar sale just to get rid of this inventory behind me. These are things that didn't make the cut for whatever reason to be posted for sale. And um, that's it. So I've missed you and I will see you again very soon. Bye y'all.